Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, it is Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I had a really nice chilled out weekend, ready, just ready, really very, very keen to get back on it Monday, which is today. Um, I've got a lot going on this week, guys. Uh, so much is going on. I've got two new projects coming in this week as well. Um, one of them is the most expensive project car that I've done, um, and it's a Mercedes. So that'll be interesting to see what that is. Don't forget, I will put little sneak peeks on Instagram, guys. So if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and then you can see what is coming up um, uh, this week on those two new projects. Yeah, so, and if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, um, and obviously, you know, like and give the, give the videos a thumbs up. Really appreciate all the support and all the bits and pieces. People don't realise how much that has an effect. That has a massive effect on um, you know the way the channel grows uh, and and how and how many subscribers I get and how many and, and YouTube push it out there. So yeah, it's really important uh, that people like, share, and subscribe to all um, you know everything I do. So that's enough of that today. We are continuing with this Hyundai i20. Um, <clears throat> I want to get all the back. I'll show you what I've done so far. Let's, um, yeah, let's just get into it and I'll explain what's going on. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys. So in today's video, um, we're going to get all this back together uh, as, it as it should be. And I'm going to be driving around this car for a little while to see if I can get that oil pressure up and the light will stay off. Uh, if it won't and it comes back, it's definitely going to the main dealer. And it's not Hyundai, it's Hyundai. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has picked me up on that yet, saying it wrong. Like, normally, like, if I say a, a, a certain word or a certain thing wrong, like, all, you know, you're, you're straight on it. It, it doesn't, it's not called that, it's called this. Like, it doesn't make me laugh when people do that. Because um, I know what I'm talking about, you know what, you, what I'm talking about, so... You know, <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> but yeah, it's not Hyundai, it's Hyundai. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I want to get all this finished off so I can get it out. And then after that, um, we're going to be jumping on Dave's Hyundai i30. We're going to bring it in, start stripping it down and getting down to where the damage is. Um, and yeah, really getting into his car today as well. But let me just show you what I've done <clears throat> before uh, on the last pre previous video. Um, I took everything off, didn't know all the vents and all that stuff, but if you can see I've mastic it all in and placed there and that. I've put a bit of mastic there, so if any water does run down, it runs away from that actual hole there rather than sort of go uh, behind that gap there. I've, I've pulled this grommet out and silicon that back in as well, plus gone around a little bit, a little bit of silicon there just in case. So, fingers crossed, you know, that those little bits and pieces that I've done there should... Uh, have a massive difference and help a lot, um, but you know we just you just you just never know whether or not. Like see that see this little bit of water in there. Oh no, mind you, that's been it's been sitting outside, so it will be a little bit of water in there. I'll um I'll dry that off, and then <clears throat> it's a case of just putting everything back together, um, and then like I said, I'm going to drive it around for a little while, and hopefully that engine management light will go off because. Just no one seems to know, honestly, without actually changing every single part of that engine, no one needs to, no one really knows how to solve this problem. Um, and I'm, I'm quite surprised really because it ain't a new car. It's, you know, it's a 2012. So it's been around for a few years. Surely by now, someone, um, has, uh, has figured it out. Um, but, yeah, like I said to you, I spoke to the Hyundai dealer, Hyundai dealer, and they've told me, um, yeah, bring it in, and we'll have a look at it. I'll try and do a little bit of video in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm going to ask. I will ask <laughs> and see what they say, um, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, they can get down to the bottom of it, um, or you know, at least tell me what the problem is or issue. So, that's that. So let me set you up, guys. Let's get cracking. Uh, we've got a lot going on this week. Really, really busy. Like I said, got two new projects coming in. One of them 
is a Mercedes, the most expensive car that I've actually had um, to fix. So that'll be a nice, interesting one. Uh, yeah, it's a big, good content on that. So let's set you up. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, so there we go, it's all back together. Um, and then now what I'm gonna do is obviously just drive it around for a few days and just see if that light will come up. I'm assuming it's gonna come straight back up, I've gotta be honest, I can't, I'll be absolutely shocked and surprised if that light <laughs> just goes away now, um, but we never know. I'll keep you updated, let you know what's going on with this one, uh, but for now, I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna bring Dave's silver Hyundai i30 in so that we can start stripping it down um, and have a look at the damage on his car. Um, and yeah, um, the other thing as well, I did speak to main dealer <clears throat> about this car and they have actually got some good service history on this car. Um, it has been serviced by main dealer for a few years. Uh, I think the last time they saw it was 2019. So from new, up to 2019, it's been serviced by them, which I've got, <coughs> yeah, they've, they've emailed me over um, the complete uh, service uh, history that they've got on the car up to 2019, which is great. It's got some service history. So it has been, you know, been looked after by a main dealer, um, Hyundai uh, dealership. So why it's doing this, I don't know, but yeah, hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. But for now, guys, I'm going to leave it there on this car. <clears throat> I'm going to take it outside, drive it about a little bit and see what happens. So let's get Dave's car in and let's have a look at that one. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's do this. So guys, I've got Dave's Hyundai i, Hyundai i30 in. Um, yeah, in exchange for the uh, i20, which is at the front now. So um, obviously the damage is here. We know that, we've gone through the videos, um, with, with, but I need to do a strip down video now. So we'll take the bumper off, the crash bar, the tailgate, the light, um, these plastic trims, get all them off, get all this out, because I've got new ones of these, these plastic vents. So we've got new ones of them, plus obviously the body shop's got to pull that out a little bit and straighten that out. So he's got to straighten all this off. Um, so yeah, um, take the back wheels off as well, get the wheel arches off, especially this one, because that one's um broken and twisted or whatever i was gone but we've got new ones got new wheel arches to go um <clears throat> in place of that so um i think there's some plastics underneath as well that comes with it but i just want to strip it all down um have a good good go at this one today and uh see how far we get so let's crack on let's do this
Right, okay, guys. So there we go. That is the strip down um, done. It's not as bad as I thought, actually. I thought there was going to be a little bit more damage behind the behind here and uh, pushed it back and forward or whatever. But as you can see, it's not that bad. Um, obviously, you know, you've got the normal push at the bottom here because that's where the, the, the impacts obviously had happened and it's pushed it there. But I was worried about the, obviously the inner skin and this point and that and that. But it absolutely looks great. Yeah, it looks absolutely fine. So, yeah, that's good news, um, definitely for Dave, because it's going to cost less to get it repaired at the body shop now, do you know what I mean? So, and that's what it's all about, is, is getting the cost down, but still making sure that we're repairing them to the um, the correct standards um, and safety, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, the, 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 the discs ain't that bad on the back here, I've got to be honest. Uh, I'm probably going to be taking them off, do a service, uh, but the pads are a little bit low. <laughs> you, can see it, you can see it in there. I'm trying to show Dave because Dave's the one that's going to be looking at this tonight. He, he's just, he's really, really thin. So I'm assuming Dave's going to want these done because I don't think they're going to pass the MOT, got to be honest. So we'll be doing the pads on that, but probably leaving the discs. Got a slight lip, but I think they're okay to leave. Um, the rest of the actual damage, um, all I can find is this here, which is on the back of the crash bar. That there. That's, that's, that's all there is. So, um, we're going to remove this crash bar completely, because obviously I've got another one uh, to put in place. It's over here. So, we'll put that in place. <clears throat> um, I've got another head, uh, rear light as well. Tailgate's over there. Um, all the plastics are over there because obviously the underneath um, this this guard here it actually broke uh, over here. So don't think we'll be reusing that because it, 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 when I got the kit, when the guy sent me the, 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 all, the, all the bits and pieces, he sent me the rear um, the rear tray, which is this one here. So he did send me some other bits as well. I think this this bit here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit that, guys. That's gonna stay in <laughs> to the video because it just dropped. Uh, but it's only plastic. Um, yeah. So the the other piece was plastic. Is this bit here? But I think Dave's one is is in pretty good condition. I've got to be honest. I think it's gonna be all right to leave. Um, I don't know if we need to remove this. This 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 bald bit here, which on, on the back back quarter, just to. I don't know. I'll get the body shop to come and have a look, see what he thinks. I'll leave it for now because it's all in good condition. There's no, there's no actual damage to any of these trims going around at all. The actual damage is here. So these lips, I'm assuming, saying that, I want to check. I want to check now. I'm questioning myself. Let's get it off and check. Uh, clean it all up. Get this rear crash bar off, um, and then we can remove um, the tailgate, uh, and we'll we'll get cracking with that. The good thing about uh, I, I couldn't believe well, this is this car has got a reversing camera, right? And I couldn't for life of me work out where the camera was. And guys, I'll show you where this camera is, um, and I was absolutely surprised at where it was. Um, it actually sort of pops out <laughs> it's really really strange but i'll show you i'll show you where it is uh, when we do it because we might have to swap some bits and pieces around i'm not sure if the the wiring loom is going to be the same on that tailgate to the other one but we'll get into that in a minute let's just do the crash bar first let's get that removed um and swapped over and then we'll um bring it down because i, I I think it can go to the body shop, but it can't be sort of put back together because I, I need to, this bracket here was broken and it connects the bumper to the actual body. This bracket, same as this one. Now, the guy that sent me all the parts sent me this one <laughs> and not the left one. So, um, yeah, I've ordered one for the other side and it's on its way but it obviously can't be put back together until we've got all that. So, yeah, 
but we could do other bits and pieces and you know i'll speak to the body shop and you know if he wants to hold on until the bracket turns up and then once the bracket turns up he wants all that because he wants to put a bracket in place line everything up make sure it's zero zero um and then obviously you know fit the bump part and make sure that fits well so but we've got other stuff to get on with this car we've got some servicing to do you know, I've got to clean it all up inside. We've got to have a look at the engine bay. There's so much to do still on this car. So let's get cracking. Let's get this off. Let's get it swapped over. Um, and then just, yeah, just move on and see how far we get today. Let's do this. Right, guys, I just want to quickly cut in there. Um, before I take this off and fit the new one, I just want to quickly show you um, so what I found. Basically, all the bolts have been undone on, on both sides, all four. There's four each side. Um, and you can see, you see that movement? That literally just, it's just so loose. You know, there's no... Basically, what I was looking for was it being really tight, because then that way I know that that chassis, that rear, this rear chassis leg, maybe have been a little bit bent, but because that crash bar is really loose, it's a good sign that it's straight. Obviously, the body shop is going to check that and he's going to do his, his his part, but it's a good sign, guys, that that is yeah hasn't hasn't actually damaged, um, gone too far. The, the rear, the rear, there's, there's like two sections to this rear crash bar. It's like the, this, this section, and then there's like a little extension legs. And you can see that they sort of, they, they've got like, um, they've got like a, they squash zones, um, impact zones, uh, you know, crash pieces that, that, that sort of squash it. And apart from that bottom bit here, you can see it's just kicked over. Apart from that, it's all good. So we can literally just, just lift that off, like that. That's the uh, damaged piece. Um, let me just put that up there. And that up there. And these are the, these are the bars, yeah. So all I've got to do is just get a pair of uh, grips, because it's quite, quite flimsy, this stuff. Just get a pair of grips and just pull that back round and straighten it back up. And then that's it. That should be us done. We can put the new crash bar on. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's another little step forward getting this done. Um, but definitely none of the, the actual tub area has been hit, apart from, obviously, this, this corner. This is where the actual impact has happened, and, and that's where it's confined to, really. Uh, but, yeah, really, really lucky. He got, he got really, really lucky um, that he didn't, he didn't affect this rear chassis leg. Um, so that's really good news. So let's crack on. Um, I'm going to get the body shop to check it out anyway, guys. You know I will. But, you know, I'm happy that, that it's in a good position. So, yeah, so far, so good. So let's keep going because I can get the crash bar on. There's no reason why I can't fit that. And um, do you know what I mean? So the more I can do, uh, the less the body shop's got to do, um, the, you know, the less it's going to cost Dave to have the body shop to repair it. So let's um, let's continue. Let's get the new crash bar in place, get that on, um, and let's just see how far we get. So let's keep going. Let's do this.
Okay, well, guys, there we go. That is the crash bar um, done and dusted for now because I don't know. This is the original loom um, for the wiring, and I don't know if we've got a bit of damage here or what's happened. I'll, I'll take it apart a little bit more, see if I can find any wires that are broke or anything like that at all. Um, <clears throat> but if it comes to it, I'm just going to re re remove that wiring loom and then fit the one that come with the with the original um, original crash bar, you know? Because when I bought the crash bar, it come with some wiring, um, as well as this extension bar here. So do you know what I thought? <clears throat> it's two bolts on the back, qu really quick. They're actually not, I thought there was a 13 mil bolt, but they're not, they're a 12 mil bolt. So instead of trying to repair that, it makes sense definitely um, to fit the one that come with the actual crash bar. So that's what I did, swapped it over, put it in place. It's all nice and straight, it's all where it should be, and it's all done up nice and tight. So yeah, that's the crash bar done for now, as long as that wiring loom is okay. If it's not, like I said, we're gonna swap it. But I'll leave it for now because it is the original, and I like to use the original if we can. Goes with the car. <clears throat> right, that's that done. Now we can move on to the actual tailgate. I want to swap that over now. Um, and then, yeah, let's see how far we get with that. <laughs> and I'll show, you, I'll show you where the reversing camera is because I couldn't find it at, at, at first. I just didn't know where it was. I kept coming, getting out of the car, getting back in, putting it in reverse, checking. But um, I'll show you um, where it is, which is, um, yeah, it's really funny. So... <clears throat> Let's let's crack on um, and let's get this tailgate um, removed. Lo, let's do this. Right, okay, guys, there we go. That is the tailgate completely removed. Um, it wasn't too bad. Normal stuff, really, with these tailgates. You've always got a wiring harness that's connected up to uh, part of the loom, uh, and that part is just in there, just unclicks. So I just sort of released that a little bit. Uh, I've released this and pulled this away because I did want to have a look behind where the damage um, corner is. But as you can see nothing not an absolute touch so and i don't know if that is an airbag sensor crash thing not quite sure what that is but um yeah really really lucky that that didn't go off and then no airbags have gone off and stuff like that but yeah none of the seam sealer has been touched or you know it's absolutely spot on in there so the actual in inside skin is perfect 
and it's just this outer skin that he needs to get, get sort of pulled back out, <clears throat> which is good news, really good news. So, yeah, there we go. So that, that part's, in that part's okay. And we know, I've showed you before on the previous, this inner part is okay. So that's really good. It's not, not as bad as, um, not as bad as I thought. I thought there might have been a little bit, a little bit of push um, with the whole corner, but it ain't. So yeah, he's really got away with that. Really got away with it really well. So yeah. So, <clears throat> right. All we've got to do now is um, have a good clean up. Because there's no point fitting this um, tailgate unless that's all cleaned. And um, you know me, guys. <laughs> uh, it just, it will just bug me if that was left. So that has to be cleaned right round. I'll do the, um, <clears throat> you know, where the lights sit. I'll clean up all this, clean up all round. Just tidy it all up. Um, get the tailgate on. And then... Um, yeah, we'll just just keep going. Let's just keep going and see how far we get. So let's do this. Right, okay guys, so there we go. That is the tailgate on. Um, we do need to do a little bit of adjustment on um, the way it sits, hitting at the bottom. But I don't want to do it yet because I've literally got to swap everything out, including the lock mechanism, the wiring loom. It's all got to be swapped out because it is very slightly different, this one when it comes to our original one. So, yeah, uh, and basically, if you see, can you see that there? You've got the four four bolts, and you've got this thing here, which basically is a, is a cover cap um, for the logo. But, on our original one, you can see this <laughs> massive um, bit of plastic, um, and basically what that is, it's the reversing camera that I was telling you about. So how it works is, let me just show you, you um, it comes up like that and then in that there, it, it, it goes up and then that goes flat and then that's where the reversing camera is. 
So all this has got to be swapped over, um, including the wiring loom and the lock, just in case. That, that, the other lock look, looks a bit older compared to this one. So it's worth just... That's the release button there. Which is, which is there. But yeah, it just looks a bit rusty, this one, look. So it's worth just swapping everything out for the original, as long as, you know, the original is in good condition. Um, and it is, you know, even on the plastics. Uh, where do I see it? This one here, look how crappy and dirty this one is. So, Again, we'll we'll reuse and use our original one because this one's the original one. Or is it the other side? Um, but yeah, you can see that's a lot, lot cleaner. So that's basically what I'm do gonna do, guys, is, is literally just strip everything down um and replace everything that needs to be replaced. The good thing about this is that the actual wiring loom um it runs on the outside of the tailgate, it doesn't run inside the tailgate inside the tailgate doesn't run inside there like the fiesta they run on the inside this one runs on the outside which is going to take um not not as long um basically yeah not as long to do so yeah a little bit more work a little bit more bit more fiddly but it's got to be done so yeah that's where we are so i'll set you back up let's get cracking um and then just literally start you know swapping stuff over so Let's do this. Right, okay guys, definitely making some progress now. So as you can see, I've swapped over all the actual original wiring um, <clears throat> loom for the tailgate uh, and everything works, well, everything's in back in place. Now, this is what I was talking about. Um, on the other one, the original one, it was just a blank in plate, just the logo. But on this one, this acts as the reversing camera. So when you put it in reverse, this flicks up 
and you've got that camera there. That, op that, that little pit there opens up and um, it, I think it comes forward and you've got a camera in it, which is pretty cool, yeah. So that's what I needed to sort of um, make space for was this here. And um, yeah, it's all fitted really well. Uh, it's all gone back together. Uh, all the wiring, all the plugs, all being put back to exactly where it was. That kind of just stays like that. I think I'm missing a clip or something there. I might have to see if I can find it, hold it up. But apart from that, we are done. So whew, um, we are definitely getting there, guys. Moving along nicely. I don't think that's going to latch, is it? Oh, it does. <laughs> that surprised me. I've got to be honest. I thought I had to mess around with this. Um, I've swapped the blade over, but I thought I, I thought I had to mess around with. It. I still might have to, uh, just to see if I need to tuck it in a little bit more. Um, I'll speak to the body shop as well, see if they'll um, line it up. But um, yeah, so far so good. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I've run out of time. That is it. Um, I can't do any more today. <laughs> so uh, we'll be continuing this tomorrow. I'll speak to Dave and see what he wants me to do when it comes to the servicing. Alfie wants me to take it, you know, I think he definitely wants me to do engine oil, but does he want me to do gearbox oil? Does he want me to do spark plugs? Does he, how far does he want me to take it? So I will have a talk to him about that. Um, so, but for now... Um, that is going to be the end of today's video. We'll jump on this tomorrow. We are, like I said, we can't get it to the body shop yet because we're still waiting for this little trim to turn up. But once that trim turns up, it can go. Um, this, this all needs rubbing down. You can see it's getting a little bit of rusty and stuff like that. So that needs all rubbing down and all making good. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, good progress, I've got to be honest. So far, so good. Good, good progress on this car today. So, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching what I'm doing. Um, there's going to be a video every week this week, guys. I promise you. Um, I've got so much going on. I've still got to catch up with <laughs> the stuff I was supposed to do before Christmas, like the blue KA. I've not started that KA yet, so we need to get into that. Um, so, yeah, um, really busy this week. And obviously, two new projects coming up um, this week as well. One of them is this bumper is for one of them. It got delivered today before I even got the car here. The bumper's here. Um, I don't know. I don't normally do that kind of thing, but let's just see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Yeah. So, <laughs> but guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to drop me a comment. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. How is it going? What do you think about this one? Um, and yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Take care. See you soon. Thanks very much.